Who wants to be that way? Why? Well, that's retarded. I don't know. Do you have the auto rotate on? Oh, well. It is what it is. Sorry, sorry. Hello, guys. Um, I'm just driving. I am not driving, actually. Disclaimer, I am not operating the vehicle. I am a passenger in the vehicle. So, I don't know how to flip it to where it's not reversed, but I'm not driving the vehicle. So, hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and uh, talk about a couple of things that are coming up this week that are super important across the country. So, if you live in any one of these states, please please get out there and show some support for our angel families. Um, angel families, um, along with uh, you, uh, we build the wall us are having a make America safe again tour this week. And so they are traveling, um, caravanning around the country to uh, several states and having little like pop-up rallies where they can inform and educate people on uh, on what's going on with the illegal immigration in our country and how we as Americans can uh, stand up and fight fight this and fight back and get our wall where we need a wall. So um, a couple of important dates and you can go to this website, MakeAmericaSafeAgainTour.com. Two of my uh, very special friends of mine, Steve Ronenbeck and Marianne Mendoza, are uh, leading, spearheading this tour and um, are out there right now. So tonight, guys, if you live in Amarillo, Texas, or you're near Amarillo, Texas, 7 p.m. tonight, get your shoes on, clean yourself up, let's go, get out there, Amarillo, Texas. VFW post 1475 at address 1401 South 8th Avenue. That is tonight in Amarillo, Texas. Hey guys, what's up? I have a little bit of lost my voice over the weekend from screaming at my president, but um, okay. Tomorrow, Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. They will be at the Fuddruckers at 10825 East 71st in Tulsa. So I'm going to post all of this. Um, I'm going to post all of this on our website or on our page, and you can uh, look at all this information. Okay, so September 20th, Little Rock, Arkansas, at the Whole Hog Cafe. September 21st, Nashville, Tennessee, at the Piccadilly Cafeteria. September 22nd, Asheville, North Carolina, um, at, uh, one, at 18G Regent Park Boulevard in Asheville. And September 23rd, Richmond, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, at New Kent Visitor Center. And September 25th at the U.S. Capitol in D.C., Angel families, along with all of the U.S. sheriffs, will be will be rallying. So, guys, this is super important. If you live in any one of those states, please get out there. Please show some support for our friends. Um, our Angel families have been through so much. And, you know, they're not taking their tragedies lying down, right? They are standing up. They are fighting back. But they can't do it alone. They need our help. So, um, you know, get out there. If every person that we know tells five people and they tell five people and they tell five people, we can increase these donations that we built the wall and we can keep putting up wall where we need it. We need to stop waiting for our government to fix things. We know that's not happening. So again, we built, or I'm sorry, make America safe again, tour.com. Check out their website. If you can't make it donate. Let's help um, get some travel expenses paid for these guys. We need to keep pushing. We need to help those that are fighting and uh, who are on the front lines who are fighting every day to uh, make change. So that is first and foremost. Second off, what I want to talk to you guys about, if anybody lives in Peoria, Arizona, the... Uh, Peoria Unified School District is pushing for a 15% tax increase um, on a special election. And so most people don't vote in a special election. Most people aren't aware of what's going on. And so it's very easy to uh, manipulate ballots and, um, you know, force these tax increases on the residents when our schools are failing. Why do they want more money? 
So um, a couple of key points here is student achievement tests, right? The state testing, 58% of these kids failed reading and writing. 51% failed math. Why do they want our why do they want more money? More money is not going to make them teach better, right? So there's a lot of uh, investment corporations who the Peoria Unified School District does business with who get kickbacks, right? So, you know, they provide interior design, they provide furnishings, they provide uh, you know, constructing the schools, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, who's this money really going to? It's not going to make these kids smarter. It's not going to help these children. It's going to, you know, for these vendors, for these contracts to 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 buy more shit that that these schools don't need. Okay? So no, we don't want a 15% increase on our property taxes. So, with that increase, if Let's say you have a hundred thousand dollar assessed property value. Your taxes will now go up one hundred seventy four dollars a year. So most, you know, the median sale uh, home is between you know two hundred fifty to three hundred fifty thousand dollars. So do the math, guys. Hundreds more in taxes that that are being forced upon the taxpayer. I, I saw a shirt at the Trump rally. It was great. It said taxpayer taxpayers lives matter and it's true so pay attention if you're in the city of peoria um we have to fight this so um you know the schools they have frivolous spending our kids are failing where are the priorities the priorities are not to give these people more money i say no so we need everybody we know all hands on deck to fight this and i will also post all this information on our page as well um what else did I want to talk about? Uh, a, a recap on the Trump rally. So the Trump rally was awesome. We drove for what, like 16 hours altogether, 16 Not hours to see our president. And, uh, the way to do it guys is get there at four o'clock in the morning. So we got there at 4 AM, like four, four thirty. We parked, we, uh, brought our beach chairs, cooler, changes of clothes. People have pop-up tents. And you just tailgate all day in front of the arena. And then like an hour before they open the gates, you go run, put all your stuff in your car, freshen up, go back, stand in line. We were front row, front row. I was so happy until, <laughs> until, uh, you know, this man behind me, Mike went to go get a, get a drink. And this man, like, he's like, Hey, can my kid come stand right here? I'm like, mm, well, she can. So my friend comes back. And uh, then she's got to move. And he's like, really, you can do that to a kid? The kid can't see. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. You should have got here earlier. We drove eight hours to be here. And I'm not trying to be like a bully or anything, but this is our spot. And uh, no, your kid can't stand here. So, you know, then we had, uh, you know, a couple of ladies in wheelchairs that we had our spot in the front row. And we were literally dead straight in front of the podium. And... I told them, ladies, just scoot over right on the long side of us. You're still in the front row. No, they stood, waited behind us. And when it's time to move forward, they just ramrodded their wheelchairs right up against us. And I was like, no, it's not happening. So I had to fight up, you know, kid, little girl, pushing off people in wheelchairs. And we were holding our ground. That was my spot. So the, the father of this kid goes and complains to the campaign staff, who then opened up the entire section in front of us. There was like two barricades and then us, and it was all empty in front, and she let the kid go over the barricade and stand in that empty space. Cool, stand over there, kid. No, then the campaign staff picks out all the other kids out of the audience to put in this space. So, you know, we lost our front row space. All these damn kids are turn on the guy, I'll see what you started. <laughs> so I was irritated, a little irritated, but got to see our president. It was amazing. It was a great rally. Um, still get chills when he comes out and, uh, can't wait for him to come back to Arizona. It's going to be lit. Anything you want to say, Michael? Nope. Just trying to drive through this Driver. traffic. Driver. Traffic sucks. Yeah. Traffic sucks in Phoenix. And this is our roads. If you see all these bumps, I can't get the phone Ask back. your elected political heroes to fix the roads. Yes. The roads in Phoenix are horrible. Horrible. So uh, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Please um, stay tuned. Friday, we're going to do a podcast. We are setting up the podcast at um, 
it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. And uh, we did a podcast this morning with um, Gordon Rose, the Uneven Podcast. So stay tuned for that. It'll be ready tonight. We'll be posting that, sharing that from Gordon's page to ours. Um, Friday, uh, me and the guys are going to get together and do our own little podcast. I think we're interviewing um, somebody um, on, like, the Latinos for Trump side because, uh, you know, that guys, that's, we're going to need that for 2020. We have to start swaying the Latino vote and bring them over to the Trump train. Um, you know, the demographic has changed so much in Phoenix. There's a lot of Hispanics. There's a lot of Latinos in, in Phoenix that... You know, and most Latinos have conservative values, right? Family values, they you know, to take a page family out of business, Mexico, they're pro-life, um, they're pro-freedom. You know, they're just, there's so many people that are duped by these Democrats that think that, you know, that, that they're for the people. They're not for the people, they're for power. They're for power and government control. So we've got to do our work. We've got to get out there, guys. Um, this is this is the year 2020, is it? This is, Arizona's a battleground state. They want Arizona. We are teetering on the line of becoming a blue state. And I, I mean, I grew up in Arizona and we've always been a red state. So, um, you know, it's going to take a lot more than sitting at home and voting. Guys, we've got to get out there. We've got to start talking to people. We've got to start uh, getting our message, getting our president's message out and informing people on the truth of what is going on in this country and what we need to do to, to take back control and to fight for freedom, fight for liberty. Because once we lose it, it's gone forever. So everybody needs to be involved. If you're not registered PC, if you're not attending your local LD meetings once a month, where your elected officials come in and give a recap of what they're doing, um, what they're not doing, what we want them to do, um, these are all things that um, are important. So, all right, guys, we are out of here. Stay tuned Friday for the podcast and stay uh, check the page back for all the information I went over tonight. And uh, we are out. We're on our, on our way back from Tucson for my dentist appointment. I got my mother with me to say hi, Ma. Hi. <laughs> My mom, my mom was, uh, my mom was an illegal alien at one. Oh, I was not. <laughs> Just stop it. She was. <laughs> no, my, mo- my mom, my mom is an immigrant. So for all the haters that say we are anti-immigrant, we are not anti-immigrant. We are anti-illegal immigrant. We are pro-legal immigration. My mother became a citizen in the eighties. If she can do it, guys, anybody can do it. So over and out. Bye.